हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोडिंग सिंप्लीफाइड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक इन सिलेनियम विच इज एक्सटेंड रिपोर्ट सो बेसिकली देर आर मल्टीपल वेज टू गेट द रिपोर्ट ऑफ द टेस्ट वट एवर वी रन इन द ऑटोमेशन द एक्सटेंड रिपोर्ट इज वन ऑफ द वेज इन विच वी कैन लाइक डाउनलोड द रिपोर्ट एंड इन सम क्लीन वे so basically like if you work with the test ng uh, and other tools then like there are multiple things uh, through which uh, they provide the ways to download the report but uh, those report are not good looking uh, so much good looking so basically today we will be seeing uh, one way uh, basically the strength reports in which we can uh, generate the report uh, of our test cases very efficiently okay so basically uh, strength reports is a third party library uh, which provides some ways to create the report okay so let's get started now first thing uh, what i have done is i have created this simple project extend reports app okay and this is basically a maven project okay so uh, in this uh, if you if we open this extend reports app so basically there is uh, this source folder and in this source we are having the main and test okay so in this test folder we will be uh, writing our test cases and there is one pom.xml page object uh, page object model so in this we will be adding all the dependencies whatever we need so basically uh, uh, we can just simply write uh, the code in uh, in the main function or we can use some uh, test uh, scripts also so basically we can use the test ng so for this tutorial i'll be using the junit to write uh, one test and show you how we can create the extend report so first of all uh, for that we need to add the dependencies of junit so i am having two things in here first one is junit jupiter and then second one is junit jupiter engine okay so basically if you are not familiar with the junit like in this tutorial we will not be using any specific junit functionality but uh, whenever we work with the test cases then junit is a very important uh, framework so basically what i am doing is in this pom.xml i am having this dependencies tag and in this dependencies tag i am uh, adding uh, these two dependencies of junit api jupiter api and junit jupiter engine so we have added these two dependencies in here and i am just importing the changes uh, in the maven okay so basically what it will do is it will uh, download all the jars uh, whatever is needed for these two uh, dependencies so maven is synced in here as we have added these two dependencies now third thing what we need is the extend reports uh, dependency so basically uh, to get the extend report dependency what you simply do is you need to go to the browser and in the browser you just simply write extend reports 5 maven uh, dependency so it will uh, open the links to the maven central repo from where you can download the extend reports uh, dependency so here is the link like this is the first link we are having and if we move into it then it will yeah there is this maven repo in here and there are multiple versions like if you see then uh, like uh, mostly uh, what we are using is the 3.1 uh, dot one but it was bit old uh, we can use uh, the latest one so in this tutorial we will be working with the uh, five fifth version of this uh, extend reports uh, library so for now i am taking this 5.0.1 dot dot so i can uh, get this dependency from here i have added this dependency into my project okay so yeah uh, the maven has synced all the dependencies in here and we have added all the uh, dependency whatever we need into this uh, tutorial first one is the jun dependency and then second one is the extend report so for now i am closing this pom.xml now what we need to do is we need to create one class in which we will be writing one test script and through which we will be generating the report so we can just simply right click on this java folder so new uh, java class we need to create and we can give any name uh, let me give the name test reports class okay so for now i am giving a simple name test reports class and in this particular class we can create one test case and in uh, that test case we will be writing our simple script to generate the report so this is our test class in here uh, first of all let me uh, write one annotation the test annotation from junit so i'm using this through the org junit jupiter api and let's uh, write one uh, method here so for now i am making it public void uh, test extend text extend reports okay 
and into this uh, test uh, into this method we will be writing one script uh, to generate the test report so there are multiple steps through which um, we need to proceed uh, in order to uh, create the extent report so first of all we need to create a object of extent spark reporter so you can follow these simple step uh, in order to generate the report so first of all we need to uh, instantiate this extent spark report spark reporter okay so extent spark reporter so if you uh, like familiar with the extent report version 3 or version 4 then there there was a extent html reporter in the same way in this like they are providing some more meaningful ways to generate the report so in this we need to uh, create the object of spark reporter instead of html reporter and let me uh, write the extent spark reporter equals to new extent spark reporter and in this spark reporter we need to provide the path in which we will be creating the report so for now let me do one thing let me create one folder inside my project so one directory we need to create and let's name this directory reports there is this di directory has created so uh, simply what we can uh, do is we can simply uh, give the path of, of this reports okay so for now I am just providing this dot slash so that uh, dot means like in uh, this will be in our uh, current project and slash reports and after report we need to provide the name whatever uh, HTML report we need to create so for, uh, uh, for now let me give it a spark report dot HTML okay so spark underscore report dot HTML will be doing and we have instantiated this extent spark reporter okay second thing we need to uh, do is we need to create a object of extent reports extent reports okay and uh, we can write extent report equals to new extent reports now uh, we need to use this extent reports uh, object okay to attach the reporter to it so this is the third thing we need to do and we need to pass this extent spark reporter in here so what we have done is we have created one uh, uh, object of this extent spark reporter in which we have provided the path of uh, our report like it will be generating this spark report into this reports uh, directory and secondly we have created the uh, we have insta instantiated this extent reports and we are using the object of this extent reports to attach to the reporter okay so this is our third step now next step we need to do is we need to create one extent test uh, object so extend test and we can write uh, let me name it as logger for now like it makes more sense and we can so basically uh, this extend text uh, okay and uh, uh, extend reports but create test and we need to provide the name of the test so basically uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, simply do one thing like in order to create the object of this uh, extent text uh, we can simply uh, write uh, this extent report dot create test so what it will return it returns a extent text and it has returned the extent text so uh, the name of the extent text in here uh, we can give any name of our uh, test case uh, whatever we can provide in here so for now I am writing my first test so uh, we have instantiated this extent test also uh, with the name of the object as logger okay so uh, like these are the uh, four steps we need to do uh, in order to get uh, our report uh, ready so basically and for now what we are doing is we, we are uh, calling some methods in order to uh, tell this extent report that this test case is passed or this test case is failed so uh, for now we are having this logger uh, object in here okay and uh, uh, let me do one thing logger dot log uh, so first of all we need to provide so this log so uh, for now what uh, we will be doing is we will be uh, writing the case like uh, this test case is passed or this test case is failed uh, so in this uh, if you uh, see in this logger then there are multiple methods so log is one of them and this takes two parameters uh, like first one is status so basically whatever the status of our test case so we can write status dot for now let me create one test case which got passed and let's say login test passed okay so this is our first case in which we like uh, in this we are not doing some sophisticated test step we are simply writing a script 
uh, to generate the report and then second thing what we can do is we can do logger logger dot log and let's say we need to fail this particular test case so there are multiple things like if you see status dot fail uh, for now I am doing the status dot fail and then let's say title verification failed okay so this is our second thing we are doing okay so uh, for now let's see uh, let's say we need to uh, do these two things and we will be seeing how this report will look like so basically uh, once again let me explain what things we have done first of all we have created the object of this extent spark reporter okay and in this we have provided the path in which we need to uh, generate this particular report okay then we have instantiated this extent reports and uh, uh, by using the object of extent report and we are using this extent reports object uh, to attach the reporter to it whatever we have created the extent spark reporter and then we are creating the object of extent test so that we can uh, do whatever things we want like uh, first of all I have done is the pass test and then there is one fail test okay so after um, writing all the test uh, things we what we need to do is we need to flush this particular report so that it will create the report so for that we need this extend reports object and then extend reports dot flush we need to do so it will create the report for us so let's run this particular test and see uh, how the things are working uh, so if you see we uh, one test case we are having this test extend reports it got passed and if we see then there is one report this is generated the spark report dot html so let me open it in the browser and we will see how it's looking uh, so if you see uh, it has opened this uh, web page in here this is the html and in this it's showing like uh, our login test pass it's the detail and it's showing the timestamp and then one title verification failed okay so for now i'm not uh, doing any asserts or something i'm just simply creating the object of this extent test and showing you how we can uh, write so in the real time scenarios also what uh, whenever we are writing the test cases on the basis of assertions we can provide the status and work with it but for now simply uh, i'm showing uh, this to you and uh, one more thing like if you so uh, there is this graph icon also so if you click on it it is showing that how many tests are failed so and like we are having two things first one is the past one so one test pass and one test fail so it is showing also in this particular graph so basically uh, like whenever uh, we are writing lot of test cases so it will generate a very good report as compared to the default report of test ng or some other framework okay so uh, this is uh, about uh, these things uh, so one more thing we can do we can also attach the screenshot so let's say if you are working on some real time test case then uh, on the ui you are verifying something and the test got failed so you just need to capture the screenshot of the, that particular moment and attach in our report so for that also there are uh, multiple things so uh, let me do one thing we can use this logger uh, object and we can use the fail method of it so if you see it uh, takes two parameters like the first one first one is the details and then media so basically uh, let me show you how we can attach the screenshot to our test case if it got failed or pass okay so for now we are working with the uh, we are creating a scenario in which we are failing the test case and we will be attaching one screenshot in here so uh, we need to provide the details let's say it's a string so test failed okay i am writing a simple uh, message in here and then we need to provide the uh, media object so for that what uh, you can do is you can write uh, media media entity builder okay and uh, in this class there is one uh, static method create screen screen capture for from path so we need to provide the path where our uh, screenshot present so like if you capture the screenshot using the selenium then uh, you can give the path wherever our uh, uh, the screenshot is present so for now let me take one uh, image so this test image in my c folder so we can provide this path in here okay and then uh, one more thing we need to do uh, we need to uh, call a build function in it so we have uh, simply uh, called this fail uh, method and in this fail, fail method we need to uh, provide one a message whatever message we want and then we need to uh, uh, add this media entity builder which will return a 
media so if you see uh, then it will return the media entity builder this is the starting method in this particular class and we need to provide the path where our screenshot is present and build it and then at last we need to flush uh, this particular thing so that it will generate the report so this time we are not writing any specific test or assertions we are simply uh, creating the scenario uh, in order to generate the report okay so let me run it again and let's see how it will looks like so it's running our uh, test session reports uh, test passed and if we see then let me refresh this okay so uh, this is the same report we are having let's open this particular report uh, in the open in browser i'm on intellij and if we open this report in the chrome let's see how this will looks like so uh, this time we are having uh, three things first test is pass then we have written two fail methods also okay so if you see like uh, first test case login test passed then title verification failed and this is our message of the test failed so this image is not coming i don't know why but like uh, if you see then there is one image like it's not coming due to some reason but uh, if you attach your screenshot um, uh, path in that particular uh, media entity builder create a screen uh, capture from path it will add the report uh, it it will add that image to the report also and if we see in the graph also we are having two test fail okay so it's showing two test failed and one test pass okay so uh, yeah basically uh, these are the simple things we can do using the extent report and we can create a lot advanced reports using the extent report so for this tutorial i am just simply so showing you how we can use this extent report uh, library to generate uh, one simple report okay so in our further tutorials we will be uh, writing some advanced test case in which we will be doing some assertions we can also change the themes um, of this uh, report like whatever you want we will be uh, discussing in the further tutorials so yeah if you guys are having any question related to this uh, extent report you can mention it in our comment section so for now thank you